One of the most famous structures in the world appears to be heavily damaged and in ruins tonight. Oh, no. Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, the 12th century monument, iconic site for Catholics around the world that draws millions of tourists each year to Paris, engulfed in flames today. The spire collapsed into the cathedral about an hour after that blaze broke out. This is a live look at Paris, where the fire is still burning, but is dying down. The structure was being renovated, and French authorities say the fire likely began from that. The investigation is continuing. President Trump addressed the tragedy this afternoon. It's one of the uh, great treasures of the world, and it's burning very badly. It looks like it's burning to the ground. But it's a terrible sight to behold. The fire strikes during Lent, less than a week before Good Friday and Easter. Correspondent Benjamin Hall is live tonight in London. Good evening, Benjamin. Uh, good evening, Brett. And tonight, I can tell you, Paris is totally in shock. This was a symbol not just of Paris as a city, but of France, of Europe, and as you pointed out, of the Catholic Church. We have just heard from President Macron in the last half hour, and he has fortunately said that the fire has been contained, and at least those two critical towers on the facade will be saved as well. It happened just after 6 p.m. in Paris, around 12 Eastern, after the church, the cathedral, had shut to tourists. It's believed to have started at the back roof of the cathedral and the scaffolding which had been in place for a major $7 million restoration. It is not believed to be arson or terror related. An hour later, thick smoke was billowing across Paris before pl flames began to appear, engulfing that entire roof as the forest of wooden beams inside it took hold. Finally, the roof caved in and that famous spire that looks out over Paris crumbled. It's thought now, though, that the fire will go on for several days. A large-scale operation, not only to save the cathedral, but also the artworks, the books, the relics, the history contained inside is now underway. It actually took fire engines about two hours to arrive, and it's not quite known yet why so long. But access to the island on which the cathedral sits in the very heart of Paris is difficult, both because of the small bridges that lead to it, but particularly in this case because of the tourists. So many people had come back to catch a glimpse of this cathedral burning that they managed to stop the fire authorities getting to it. And the height of the cathedral also meant it was almost impossible for hoses to reach the very top. Well, President Macron outside the cathedral just half an hour ago, vowing to rebuild, saying that this cathedral had stood for 800 years, that it had survived wars, the Nazi occupation, and that it would stand again. Brett? Benjamin Hall in London. Benjamin, thank you.